Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to add product with variations on WordPress. Variation products allows you to offer different varieties of product with specific features. Variation products are used to sell items that are essentially the same but are different in one or two key features. Typical variations differ by color, size, type, and material. But almost any differing feature of a product can be used as a variation. With WooCommerce installed on your WordPress, you can add a product with variations easily. Let us walk you through and how to do it. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you haven't installed your WooCommerce yet, you better check our previous tutorial. The first thing that you need to do is to access the admin dashboard of your WordPress site. Once you're in, hover your mouse to the product section on the left and select add new on the options. Indicate your product name. After you indicate a product name, it will automatically generate a permalink for your product. Indicate a product description. There are two product description areas. Just for the sake of this tutorial, let's differentiate them so we can see the difference. Next is the product data. Click the product data dropdown and select variable product. The first section is the inventory. Add your SKU number. Just leave the manage stock empty because we'll be managing the stock per variant. On the shipping section, indicate the weight and the dimension of your product. Next is the attributes. This is where we'll be adding the attributes of your product. We need attributes to create variation. Just click the add button beside the custom product attribute. Name your attribute. Add the values and separate them by using the pipe symbol. Make sure to check the used for variation box. Click the save attribute button. Do the same thing if you want to add more attributes. For this example, we'll be adding color and size. Next is the variations. This is where we will be specifying the different types of variation for your product as well as managing your stocks. Click the Go button beside the Add Variation. A new variant will appear. You need to create all types of variant for your product. For my example, since I have two types of color and two types of sizes, I need to create four different variants of my product. Select the attributes of this variant. So, let's select red for the color and medium for the size. Click the variant to expand. Add a picture. Click the picture icon and select the appropriate picture from the media library. Indicate the SKU. Check the Manage Stocks checkbox. Price your item and indicate the sale price as well as the active dates of your sale. Indicate the weight and the dimensions and add a description. Once you're done, Click the Save Changes button. 
Do the same exact thing for the other attributes. Make sure that you create all of the variants for your product. Add a product image. This is the main picture of your product. Then, add an image to your product gallery. Add your product tag. Then, select your product category. After you have added your product image, it's time to preview your listing. Under the publish area, click the preview button. As you can see that the product price is a price range. This is because I set the price to be different for each variant. Every time they change the color, the picture will also change. This is because we have added images to each variant. Right below, they can also click the thumbnail and the image will change as well. This is because we add images to the gallery. The product description 2 is shown beside the product picture and the product description 1 is shown at the bottom. So it seems that everything is in place. So, if you're satisfied with the listing preview, click the publish button to make your listing live. Now your customers can already start ordering your product. So there you have it. That is how you add a product with variations on WordPress. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.digital and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon. Hey, do you like this e-com content? Sign up for the Sellers Post newsletter for more e-commerce content straight to your inbox. Or follow us on socials with the links below. Thanks for watching.